Hi and welcome. So today I want to share with you a little bit more about how body acceptance plays into resolving your emotional eating. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Michelle. I'm a certified holistic nutritionist specializing in emotional eating. And I wanted to cover this because I recently posted something um, about body acceptance and it seemed to have been a bit misunderstood and I think it can be hard for a lot of us that have struggled with emotional eating and body image and just wanting to, you know, have a certain body to be accepted and loved to shift to this new way. And so I want to share a bit more about how body acceptance plays into uh, resolving your emotional eating and how we can actually get to this place. Because right now in society and for a lot of us, the way we start is that we think we have to push and punish and, um, be really negative and critical of our body in order to get to our goals where we can finally have that love and acceptance from the outside or that validation and we don't really know how to give that to ourselves and it's a really interesting shift and it's might be difficult if we think about where we're starting from. So it might be like, how am I going to ever get to body acceptance when I feel uncomfortable in my body? I don't feel good about it. Uh, I really want to look a certain way. Um, we might not even be consciously thinking that. We know we think we'll feel more comfortable in a certain body or if we get to a certain place and we're not able to really be with ourselves where we are right now. And I totally get it. When I was on this emotional eating journey, I wanted to control my body and that's why I was doing all the diets. I was seeing a trainer. I thought if only I could get a handle on my food and my body, my life would work out. I would finally feel okay. But I was triggered into emotional eating. I was in these really critical negative loops about my body. I was obsessing about food. I felt so awful. And you know, I knew after having a personal trainer, going to the gym like six days a week for hours and yo-yoing and up and down that this wasn't sustainable and I wasn't getting the results I wanted. And even when I reached that size that I thought would finally feel okay, it felt that way for like a second because I still wasn't getting the validation and acceptance that I was longing for. And so you know, I've had clients say they reach that spot and then it's like you're building this foundation on sand. You don't have anything to sustain you. What's next after? You've done the diet, you've restricted, and now you're here. How do you sustain this? It doesn't even feel good. You're not getting that that validation or that feel good that you thought you would. And so if we do this in a way that is built on the right foundation, that helps us resolve our emotional eating. When we get to the body, our healthy body, it's going to feel so much better because along the journey, we're feeling that way. And so I want to dive into a bit more about body acceptance. And so body acceptance is not about actually liking your body or disliking your body or loving it. It's getting to this place where you're almost just really objective of your view of your body. I don't want to quite say neutral, you're just objective about it. And so because we put so much emphasis on the way our body looks, on our worth, it equals our worth and our value, our worth and our value are things that are much deeper than just our body. And so we have to go deeper. And when we start looking at our body more objectively, we stop that negative thought loop. And that's really important because that negative thought loop, what it's doing in our body is creating a lot of stress. So when we don't push ourselves at the gym or we emotionally eat and we're in a body that feels uncomfortable or maybe not what we want it to be, that thought loop, that negative thought loop is on a replay. And that actually triggers emotional eating because we're creating stress and mood imbalance. And that's what makes us go to food to soothe and cope from these sort of negative critical thoughts and the stress that we're creating. And so why would we keep motivating ourselves with this negativity? Because it's actually pushing us into more emotional eating. It's creating more stress in our body, which equals digestive issues, mood imbalance, um, inflammatory conditions, weight gain, and the list goes on. So why would we keep doing this to ourselves? Why would we keep buying into the restriction um, and the diet mentality and the punishing exercise? Why wouldn't we want to shift? And so part of body acceptance is also shifting into 
accepting our body for where it's at, having this more objective view of our body. So not having to love or like it, just being more objective about how we view our body and finding, you know, going deeper of the value of our body. So our legs help us walk from point A to point B. It doesn't matter the size of them at this point um, or how they look, they have a function. And if we can get to this sort of neutral objective view of our body, that leaves so much more room and more space to start creating a healing in our body and a moving forward towards the goals we want. So those negative thoughts that are creating health issues in our body, making us, you know, triggering us into emotional eating. Once we stop that negative thought loop, we eliminate a lot of these things that are actually creating the body. We say we don't want to be in, if that makes sense. Because now when we're in this place of acceptance, we're actually allowing for more healing because we're not punishing and pushing our body and being in the stress response and triggering emotional eating and eating foods to soothe and that don't necessarily help us in our journey. And so when we're in this um, neutral place, this is where we can start really tuning into our body, what it needs. We start having more acceptance for where it's at. We can start appreciating our body and then honoring what it needs in terms of let's say movement in terms of rest, in terms of noticing its energy levels shifting and not punishing ourselves because we're not a hundred percent today or, you know, we're at 50% really understanding how our body works. And this appreciation, when we move from, you know, criticizing to acceptance and then this appreciation and understanding of our body, then we can move into loving our body. And this is all happening without emphasizing the way our body looks. And it's not to say that your body's not going to shift to your healthy. That happens over time for, you know, I'll take myself as an example. When I started this journey, I was in this phase of just having body acceptance, truly nourishing my body, um, moving through those emotions, which are sort of the base and foundation of the emotional eating evolution program. And I was working through all of these and my body didn't change overnight. It didn't change in a few months. It had a very slow, gradual change after months and years of just every day showing up and wanting to feel my best, put the best foods in my body, um, move through whatever triggers were coming up, um, and really just being okay with the body that I had, not emphasizing um, I should be here or here, just allowing my body to unfold. And without me really knowing what was happening, now that I have a background in holistic nutrition and I look back, I was actually just healing my body from all of that stress that I had put it under. Um, you know, when we're under so much stress, critically, environmentally, all of these things, it really works. Um, it takes a toll on our body, on our adrenals and that impacts the way we store fat, the way we, um, you know, our energy levels, our mood, you know, if we have adrenal fatigue or we're in this really stressed out state, our body is depleted and it takes time and sort of that nourishment on all of these levels through food, through our body and through our emotions to really get back to a place of neutral. So we've been depleting it with all this stress and these diets and this pushing. And now we get to this place of more neutrality and objectiveness, which is body acceptance. And from here, as we heal over time, our body starts to transform because now it's moving into its healthy. And so for me, that looks like after you know, slowly over time, my digestion improved, my energy improved. I had more energy to go to the the gym and move my body. I naturally wanted to do that. I was putting in really amazing foods because it felt good to me. And then I was working through whatever triggers came up. So I felt more calm and you know, as I moved through this, my body started to transform. And so it started to release weight and it started to just get to what was optimized for it. And since that time, my body has pretty much maintained that level, um, for many years now. And so there are small fluctuations, like everyone has that, but, you know, because I went through that healing phase, it feels just 
I'm at the place that I was meant to be when I moved away from all of that sort of diet mentality and I was emotionally eating and just punishing my body and doing all the things that were not helping me and so this is possible but it takes time and we need to have this body acceptance to really understand that this is part of the journey we jump into these diets time and time again trying to change and 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 change our body and yes short term these diets will give you results but they damage you long term so you you know a couple of months you put it in and you exhaust and deplete your body to get to this goal and then after you're left depleted and then you have no sustainable way of maintaining that and you're in depletion mode and you go back to your old habits because there's nothing there holding you up actually guiding you and creating sustainable change so body acceptance is this really key and important part of the emotional eating evolution program. It's one key area that's needed to resolve your emotional eating and to come into this acceptance to remove sort of those critical, um, those negative thoughts, those triggers to emotional eating, to really honoring your body so you're not pushing past your limits. So let's say, for example, you don't rest enough, you're going to trigger more emotional eating and hunger the next day. If you're not tuned into your energy levels, you're going to punish yourself when at the gym and overexert yourself, which is going to trigger um, stress, mood imbalance, and then probably more binging and emotional eating. Because as a emotional eaters, when our mood is imbalanced, we go towards food to soothe, whether it's mood imbalance from physical things we've done or an emotional trigger. And so this is key and important for us to move through. Of course, we need to be um, pairing this with true nourishment and emotional wellness to really shift and move past this. And so sometimes when we don't have a body acceptance, uh, I just want to mention quickly, it also ties into our emotional wellness. So we might also have those negative, those critical and negative thoughts. If we're not able to shift them, um, there might be some trauma associated with it. And so we use the tools inside of the emotional wellness phase of the program, the somatic meditations to move through sort of that deeper trauma, um, that unresolved issue around our body so that we can move forward and allow it to just be where it is right now and allow for time to come in before that transformation we might want to happen. But to be in acceptance right now, whether we change or not to allow our body to unfold. So I hope this video has helped you see that um, body acceptance is not um, out of reach. There are steps to move towards it as we connect back to our body, as we look at how we talk to our body, how we actually treat our body and our understanding of our body. This helps us to move towards body acceptance and being um, more objective about our body and its needs. And so this is not about jumping from disliking your body to loving it. It's about gaining that sort of neutral objective place. And then we move into more appreciation and love. So Let me know if this resonated with you. If you are interested in the Emotional Eating Evolution Program, which is my step-by-step methodology to resolve your emotional eating from the root, um, I will leave a link below. So this is a step-by-step process. It's full of lots of support and guidance and coaching and accountability and the step-by-step process to help you move through your emotional eating, finally get to the root of it so you can feel confident in your body and around food. So if that resonates with you, check it out below. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe, and I look forward to sharing more with you, and I hope you have a great day.